Well, it's that time of year where the phrase make hay while the sun is shining really becomes gospel. I got busy trimming and burning all of the brush that I had down at the burn pit and felt pretty good about finally getting all of that cleaned up. Next, because the ground was saturated and soft, I thought it was a good idea to get rid of a pesky overgrown tree in front of our garage. We are going to redo our landscaping and this was one of the first things I needed to take care of. Cutting it down wasn't a problem. It was removing the stump that was going to give me issues. I left the stump plenty high and hooked it up to the F-350 and gave it a pull. No way! So the next step was to dig out and cut some of the major roots with the sawzall, and that did it. The F-350 was able to pull it at least enough to get it mostly out. Next, I needed the stump bucket on the BX, and that got it the rest of the way out, but I couldn't carry it with the stump bucket, so I switched to the grapple, and off it went to the burn pit. Hey everybody, welcome back. I am getting ready to split some firewood, and let me tell you something. I've been watching YouTube. You watch YouTube? I watch YouTube. And I was watching uh, Good Works Tractors. Good works tractors, yeah, and he's talking about making money doing firewood, and he can't understand how any of us are making any money doing firewood. And he was running through scenarios like buying firewood pre-made at a lower cost, and then reselling it, and maybe bundling it, whatever, to maximize your profits. Now he's he's an entrepreneur, he's a business owner. That's the way they think. That's just absolutely the way they think, and don't blame him for it at all. And then uh, you know, I watch Hometown Acres, and Adam, he's he's rearranging his his firewood layout. But there was a time where he did a video, how much money you actually make doing firewood, broke it all down. Like I say, he's an accountant. So he, he really got it down to dollars and cents and he knows what he's talking about. And then just yesterday, I think it was, um, I was watching uh, Outdoors with the Morgans and he's got 15 reasons why you should burn firewood, 15 legitimate reasons why you should burn firewood. He's absolutely right. Every one of those reasons, absolutely right. But I'm here to tell you, there's one reason and one reason only why you should do this. Because you love doing it. Because you want to. Just do it because you love it. Because let me tell you, none of us are making a lot of money doing this. And none of us are, I mean, the, well, I actually lost sleep over this. You're, you're thinking about, my gosh, wow, I'm, Maybe I'm losing money doing this amount of time. I've got, we had a big storm come through here in Northeast Ohio, lots of winds, 60, 65 mile per hour winds. We lost some shingles and some siding. We'll get that taken care of. But a lot of people had trees fall down. And I have a lady that called or texted me and she wants me to go clean up a tree for her. And I said, yeah, absolutely. Tomorrow I'll be out, you know? So, because I feel good about it. I like doing it, you know? I'm somebody that can do that. And then I take the wood and whatever I can turn into firewood. Yeah, I make $50 a pallet, $300 a cord, but by the time I cut up the tree, you know, stop thinking about all of that. I know we all want to be as efficient as possible and there's nothing wrong with that. You want to save your back and you want to try and take as little time, you know, make sure you're, you're maximizing your efforts, you know what I mean? But don't sweat those minute points of, can I make a penny an hour more? <laughs> None of us are getting rich. None of us are getting rich. Oh, so you know what this goes for anything that you do in life. Absolutely anything because America's crazy. The whole world's crazy. I don't know where it's going, but if you've got any freedoms left, use the ones you have and do what you love because that's all it comes down to. You know, spend every minute that you can you know, I'm very fortunate to be in my situation and be able to be retired at my age. If you've got the weekends or if you've got the evenings and this is what makes you happy, do it because it makes you happy. That's it. That's all you need. So I'm going to get to splitting some firewood. I'm glad you tuned in. I hope you got something out of this message. It's just the way I feel, my opinion with all that I've heard. So, hey. You know what, the fact that you're watching a firewood channel or a home improvement channel, 
and not watching the other crazy stuff, you're already winning. You're already doing the right thing. Stay away from that other crap. Believe me, I was in news for 22 years and it's not worth it. Just do what you love. So I'm gonna get to work. Thanks. Okay, on my way to do the uh, storm cleanup job. You know, I like being that guy, the guy that somebody knows, you know, the, the tree companies are super busy right now. And I'm sure they are scheduling probably a month out or more with all the storm damage we had. And I'm that guy that somebody knows, you know, and she texted me yesterday, I'm heading out this morning. So, feel good about that. Oh, just run and jump in the trailer as you go by? Yeah, that would work. I'm so glad you volunteered to help. That is going to really make things easier. That was a really good start to the week. I got to do the stuff I love, and that's the most important thing. And I got to help somebody in the process. So, hey, I'm glad you guys stopped by. Glad you listened to my rant. I appreciate you uh, being there. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. Hey, you gotta tune in on Saturday because we're gonna start tearing apart my parents' pool. 
It's, you're not going to want to miss that. So, all right, we'll see you Saturday at 6 a.m. when I'm doing more stuff. Catch you there.